Hi everyone, thanks. So we've just hit the £100,000 stretch goal, so there's now going to be IPv6 support on PuckJS. Um, that'll happen a bit after you actually get it, because I don't want to delay shipping for any of the stretch goals, but it'll be a software update. So I just thought I'd show you something that I, um, I demoed at a talk last night. Um, I have here a very cheap infrared light bulb. Um, so this is um, something I bought off eBay for about £5. And obviously PuckJS has its infrared transmitter in it. So what I've done is I've recorded the signals that um, this sends, and then I've put them into a website here. Um, and the website's just using that um, puck.js file that uses web Bluetooth. Uh, it's just a few lines of code, so when I tap this, it will try and send the signal. It asks if I want to connect to the device, and I say yes. And then um, it sends the signal and lights the bulb up. And if I tap again, it will turn it off. And so you now have kind of complete control over this light bulb. Um, if I had more buttons here, you know, you'd be able to change the colour of it from the phone or whatever. But you can kind of see how easily you can take this, which is not a desperately smart device, and then you maybe hide this just inside the lampshade and um, you can instantly turn it into something that you can turn on and off from your phone um, with the hub from the internet and with IPv6 from sort of any internet capable device directly that doesn't even have to have Bluetooth low energy. So thanks for watching.